Yes, yes. Lord, we, yes, we, we kneel at the foot of it, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Lord, you, uh, we know that you're a perfect Father. You've That's got the right. world in your in your yes. hands, Lord. You um, Father, we we, yes. we we bring things before you yes, because Lord. because here on earth it, 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 it means a lot to us, Lord. That's right. Yes. We know that. Uh, that you know all things and, and that, that, that you say that even yes, a sparrow's Lord. feather, uh, you, you, you know everything about a sparrow, yes, Lord. Lord. You certainly know um, what's happening here uh, uh, around Modesto, Lord. We, right. we raise, yes. uh, it, it's so hard to imagine that, 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 that you tell us to count it all joy and I, and I, and I, and I preach that to everyone, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's so hard to receive when we're serving our flesh, Lord, but yes. But when we serve the Spirit of God, That's we can right. understand it. Amen. Because, because your plan yes, is perfect. Yes, Lord, yes, of course. We, we, we say, boy, that steak was perfect, or what a perfect day, and we don't even begin to understand perfection. Lord. That's right. That's and right. Uh, we don't understand love. We don't understand uh, the purity uh, of heart, Lord, um, that you say that even our greatest deeds are like dirty, rotten rags. That's and, right. And, Lord, so we just don't, we don't understand it all. So there's times when we just don't understand where little kids uh, fly out of a car, Lord, and I can't begin to underst understand it. I can't begin to explain it. Um, but but we we give it to you, Father. Um, we, we, we just give it all to you, Lord, because you say, cast all your cares on me. And Hallelujah. I rest. Yes, yes, Lord, yes, of right. course. Right. And Lord, we, we can't carry anything. We're, we're really feeble human beings. Um, when we have the smallest of, uh, 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 of things that, that, that go on in our lives and complain about them. But, but all you say is just, just hand them over to me. That's right. Because my yoke is light and, 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 and it's easy. Just just follow my path. That's right. And, That's and, right. and you will have peace. And, and so, Lord, we pray for that peace. Yes. We yes, pray Lord, yes, that you would course. surround uh, those that don't understand your word, Lord, that, that don't live in your word. Lord, that don't really begin to comprehend the peace that, that only you can give to your son, Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. And Lord, uh, we embrace the spirit that you've left here behind, the Holy Spirit, Lord. We, we pray that you would breathe that breath into everybody that, that, that we come across, Lord, because I, I think sometimes <coughs> we as Christians, we feel that we're covered, and we're so glad that we're covered, but we don't. We don't realize there's others that need to be covered. There, right, there's others right. that need to hear the word, especially in a crisis. That's, that's the, the greatest time to bring up uh, your son who died for our sins, that's Lord. That's right, that's right. Because there's hope in your son, Lord. There's no hope in, in the things that happen of this world. We pray that we would store our treasures in heaven, Lord, not here on earth, Lord. Yes, that Lord. Um, that you give us the, 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 the things that we need, which is which is... Food, shelter, and clothing. That's yes, right. Lord, yes, of right. course. Right. Just what you gave your son, Jesus Christ. You, you, we don't need more than that, but we think we do. We, we think we deserve more than your son did, right. who was born in a major, Lord. And, and I pray that we would that we would spend more time in the word understanding right. the life that you want us to leave. Because you say in Matthew that the, that the gate is very narrow. Amen. And all of us think that, oh, we're all going to run into heaven because <laughs> we went to church or or we accepted Jesus. And, and, and he, he talks about, you know, a, a tree without fruit will be cast into the abyss. And Lord, we pray that every yes, day Lord, we yes, would bear yes, fruit, that we would, that we would, that we would talk to those parents who lost their children, that we would talk to those people that are in the hospital, because if they've only got two weeks and they accept Jesus into their heart, they're going to the greatest place on earth. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There's no pain. There's no suffering. The, the roads are gold. That's right. There are doves. There's, there's lions sleeping with lambs, Lord, up in heaven. Amen. And we pray, Lord, that we would understand yes, Lord, yes, Jesus. your will, not ours. Yes, like Amen. We suffer when there's no suffering. Why are we suffering when you give us a plan that, that all I ask of you just to proclaim yes, my name? Yes, just, just, just proclaim it. I'll do the rest of the work. Hallelujah. Just proclaim of, there's hope in Jesus Christ. That's right. In your holy Lord. name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Great prayer. Thank you, Dirk.
Hallelujah. We're just going to lift our tithing offering up to the Lord. Lord, we just pray right now that you bless each and every one that has given today. Bless their finances, bless their homes, bless their health. Just bless them all in abundance. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Everybody Amen. say? Amen. Amen. Okay, Mike. Come on, Johnny. Come on. Let's go. So you're going to put us live? That's good. That's good. Hey, just talk. Oh yeah, come on. Get the shot, get the shot. <laughs> hey, there's two mics now, Just Mike. Get the mic, get the mic. Now we can argue. <laughs> and they can hear both of us. Can you hear me here? Can you hear me now? Hey, God bless you guys. I'm glad you guys are getting here. Man, I, I, I'm glad to see you guys came to the to the to the new spot. Amen. And I hope today God willing, you up with the renewal of your spirit. Amen. 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 Every day you wake up, his love is renewed. Every day you're breathing, every movement you make, his love can be renewed if you just recognize it and see it. But if you don't want to see the renewed love in your life, you won't see it. God ain't going to make you see something that he puts right in front of you. Jesus Christ, he'll put it in front of you, you have to see it for yourself. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, he'll give you gifts and talents. And you'll know what they are, but they won't, they won't get put to use if you don't put it to use. If you don't put it to use, it's like having a brand new car. You don't drive the car into what's the car worth? Nothing. Jesus Christ, so he got these gifts and talents for you guys. And in Timothy, he says, man, dig into that. God gives you these gifts and he gives you these talents and dig into that. Jesus Christ, let, let, let me read to you. It's uh, 2 Timothy 4.14. And it says, let me find it. Hold on. I'm in 2 Timothy 4. Oh, my bad. It's 1 Timothy 4.14. Remember, because that's the gift. <laughs> hey, you, hey, I'm telling you when, you, when you, when you talk about the Word of God and you get lost in it, don't ever, ever feel like, oh, man, embarrassed. Look for it and find it. Jesus Christ, a lot of people, you start preaching, you can't find it, and then you get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. Keep going because God is the one that's going to give you the word to say when you when you lose the word. Sometimes God don't want you to preach about that, but He wants you to preach about it because I found it. First <laughs> Timothy four fourteen, and it says, "Do not neglect the spiritual gift you receive through the prophecy spoken over you. When the elders of the church lay their hands on you, give your complete attention to these matters. Throw yourself into your task so that everyone will see your progress." Jesus Christ, so what God is saying, do not neglect the gifts and talents that you put in your life. Let me tell you something. You want to know what a gift is? You think a gift, uh, this is a gift though, like being able to work super fast, uh, being able to be super smart and intelligent, those are gifts. But you know what another gift is? Another gift is good wisdom, good godly counsel. Amen. Being a good listener, those are, that's wisdom. They make it so simple. To love it, to love is a gift. Let me see. Let, let me show you. Right here. Let me. Let me. Let me read this now. Right here. Look at this. Is. First Corinthians twelve. Now, dear brothers and sisters, regarding your question about special abilities, the the Spirit gives us. I don't want you to misunderstand this. You know that when you were still pagans, you were led astray and swept along in worshiping speechless idols. So I want you to know that no one speaking by the Spirit of God will curse Jesus, and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is the only thing telling you guys to say Jesus is Lord. So when you guys are like, man, Jesus Christ is God, Jesus Christ is Lord, Jesus Christ is Son of God, that's coming from the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you might think it's coming from you, but it's coming from the Spirit of God. Remember Hallelujah. That? So when you believe that, it's coming from God. Amen. When you 100% believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that Jesus Christ is God, that's 100% coming from God. Amen. When you believe it. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the works in all of us. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. To one person, the Spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. Just course. You think you ain't got a gift? Have you ever given somebody wise advice? Yep. And has it ever helped them out? Yep. If you've ever given somebody wise advice and they helped them out, especially wise godly counsel, that is your gift. Right. Just course. 
If you know that when you're speaking to somebody, it encourages them and it gets them closer to God and it helps them out through the day, that is your gift. Hallelujah. To the court. Exercise that gift. You'll know you have that gift. He makes it simple. It's crazy. I was really just like, wow, I, I do that sometimes. I was like, <laughs> well, I got a gift. Praise God, that's a gift. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Okay, the, the ability to give wise counsel and advice. To another, the same gifts, to another, the same spirit gives a message of special knowledge. The same spirit gives great faith to another. Jesus Christ, how many of you guys got great faith? That's a gift. Jesus Christ, great faith is a gift. When you're able to perform the will of God, that is a gift in your life. Jesus Christ, when Jesus came to this earth and he offered us the gift of salvation, that's a gift. When you acknowledge that you're going to heaven, that's a gift. Because when you acknowledge you're going to heaven and you want other people to have what you have and you go out, go out and preach it to them, you're working your gift, your gift of salvation. Jesus Christ. So remember, it was never a science project to know what type of gift you have. Ooh. Who's a good friend in here? Who's a good dad in here? Who loves their dad? Who is your dad? Hey, Jesus Christ! I got a spiritual father right there too, Dirk. That's my dad that I love him so much. Jesus Christ, hey, one thing about him, he has really spiritual wise counsel, God, and gift counsel with, with him. I take it outside, I'm like, for real? Like, go that way. I'm like, I might hit that wall. He's like, no, watch, keep going. <laughs> It almost looks like it though, but but he's, he's, he's a really he, he's a really wise man, and, and I love him. And when I read that part of the Bible, when it says when it says a gift is wise counsel, the first person I thought about was Jesus. Jesus, course, because a gift when somebody gives you their gift, that's something you can't find nowhere. A person has to give you the gift that God gives you, right? Jesus, course. So if you have a gift. And you're showing me what your gift is. Nobody else can give me that part of God but you. Jesus Christ, only you can give me that part of God. God ain't gonna, God, God ain't gonna put somebody in my path to do what somebody else is supposed to do, what you're supposed to do for me. Amen. Jesus Christ, so use your gift. When you come up to me today, use your gift on me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, God bless you guys. We're making it simple today. <laughs> Here goes Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Speaking of Dirk, what I love about Dirk is, because uh, he's bringing him up, is uh, <laughs> he'll give you, you ask him a question, you ask him anything, he'll give you advice, like good, good advice, where, where he has nothing, like he wants, to, he wants to get out of you, he wants you to see what's best for you, and that's a gift, Yes, that's a gift, and, and <laughs> I, I was thinking about this the other day, um, I was raised, because I got an older son named Noah, he's 14, lives with his grandparents down the street from me, and I, and I go, how much of a blessing, because I was raised by my grandparents, how much of a blessing it is because when, when at least in my household it was, when, when you're getting raised by like an older couple, or, um, you know, my grandparents, there was no lying. There was no, they weren't, they weren't putting you down. They always want to lift you up and they always, I swear when I, um, when I was like going to certain places in life, people were like, man, why do you put your trust in people and believe what they say? And I go, man, I grew up, my, my grandparents raised me and I grew up in a, I'm used to not hearing lies. So if a man or a woman tells you something, I'm going to give them that benefit of the doubt. I'm going to believe them. Yes. Whether they're lying to me or not, that's on them. <coughs> I'm not trying to think. So it's a blessing just to get good advice from, from people that are older, people that want to see what's best for you. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, I was with them. We went, on a, uh, we went on a couple's ride yesterday. It was wonderful. Hey. And I was thinking, I go, man, this is, the, uh, this is the first time me and my wife got out by ourselves probably in five years. Yeah. Like, Woo! When I, when I was leaving the house, I was like, man, are the kids going to be okay? Uh, and because her older sister, Melissa, thank God, she, she's a good person, good heart. She watched the kids. And uh, I was like, why am I being fearful leaving the house? And I was like, everything's going to be okay. I go, God wouldn't wouldn't have us leave if something bad was going to happen. Okay. And I go, I got to leave that fear and, and get used to it. <laughs> then I had to remind myself, I go, my kids are, are, are young and it's only for a short time. Pretty yeah. soon they're all going to be of age where, right. we're, where we're not even going to have to watch them. Yeah. You know, I'm going to have cool. to be there, of it's course, fast, but it's so. just going to happen so, so quick. And I go, man, what it, what it is, a blessing just to have my kids and have them there. And, and it was a uh, only thing that, that was kind of bad was uh, my little baby girl. 
they gave her the wrong bottle so she didn't get to eat till noon. And I was like, oh, oh. She goes, she gonna stop crying. And we came home and I go, that's not the right bottle. <laughs> because she's hungry. She's hungry. <laughs> and, uh, man, it, it was a super, super blessing just to, uh, to take my wife and, 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 and to see how the soldiers do when, when we're out eating. Like, we're, uh, there's no fear and there's no embarrassment. Like, to be like, hey, you, come here. We're gonna pray for you, and they're like, "Whoa, what do you mean? Like, come on, get up! We're gonna pray for you, and we're all gonna lay hands on you, and we're just gonna give it to you." And what I learned being there is like, if you would have told me this th two, three years ago, like, "Hey, can you go pray for her?" I'm like, "Um, yeah, okay." And I would have been, I would, I, I would probably have to say I'd be shameful. Like, I don't know why, but now that I came and I, and I see how the older brothers do, and how 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 Mike and people around me are just, they're just, there's no fear and there's no like. There's no like, oh, I'm embarrassed to do it because why would you want to be embarrassed of God? That's right. why, why? And and I strongly believe just that, just that simple conversation. I was at the bank the other day and I'm walking in to, to pull some money out. And, there, and I always thought it was a man. He lays right in front of the bank of the West downtown. And I, I'm walking in and I, then I'm walking up and this lady looks at me and she goes, hey. And in my head, I go, she wants some money. She goes, I'm hungry. And I was like, I got you. Don't worry about oh, it. Of so I gave her some money to get some food. And uh, and God's like, I need you to pray for her. And I was like, oh. And that's when we just had, that day we came back from Eagle, uh, Gray Eagle. And I was just, I was out of it. And, I, and I'm pulling money out. And he goes, I need you to pray for her. And I was like, not today. And <laughs> sure enough, I look. And I, I had to get on my knee. And I started praying <laughs> for her. And I go, hey, what's, what's going on with you? Why, why are you here? Like, what happened? I was your family. And I go, you're not on drugs. I go, I can look at you in your eyes and I can, I know you're not on drugs. She goes, I'm not sure. My family don't want me. And I go, I just, hey, I just want to let you know that I love you. And she, she just started crying. I go, you probably haven't heard that in a long time. And I go, more importantly, God loves you. And he cares Amen. You. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a, that's a gift I have just to be bold and just to lay hands on her. But they don't care if she hasn't showered in three months, two oh, years, whatever it was, no matter what she looks like. <clears throat> And I had, to, I had to remind myself, hey, that's God's child, too. Hallelujah. That's God's yes. Child. And, and, uh, Hallelujah. We, we don't realize how blessed we are. Imagine just being, uh, it's a demon. I, I, I assume that it just attacks you or makes you just want to sleep on the street. And, and when you count us, I, I counted, there was four people that walked by her and they just kind of just like, ugh. And then I was like, man, that's so sad. And and I, and for some reason, I always put myself in those shoes. Like, man, and uh, I have an aunt. Her name's Adela, and she's super addicted to heroin and on the streets. And when I was growing up, <clears throat> I used to, uh, ooh, I used to look at it, and I'd be, uh, I'd be like, man, that's how. And I used to see, I go, man, that's how quick, you know, drugs do it. I go, that's how quick family and friends would just leave you. Yeah. You no, know, just. No, forget about you. And I always remember that, but that was before I knew God. And when when I um, <coughs> I haven't thought about it. Sorry, guys. Oh God, you got this. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of her. I was praying for her, and I was like, man. I go, I go. People are like, who do you really have in life? Who who's really there for you? Who really cares for you? Who's really gonna want to hear you talk? Want to want to hear about your problems? And I go, there's not many, but there's one really important person that will and that's God amen he'll, <clears throat> he'll everything everything we're going through every every uh man why did I, why did I even bring her up <laughs> sorry guys that's right, that's God right now. she's at my mom's house right now too and uh, I went over there and I was I just walked in and I was like man what a what a mess this this, this devil has a hold of them and uh I said a prayer you know and I have to realize coming into my gifts where, where the Holy Spirit's like, hey, believe, believe in me. And and by you, by the power of God and just placing your hands on her, I'll, I'll heal him for you. And and, and, I'll, and I'll show him it could be done. And, and when you put God first and you put him first and no matter what that person's going through, no matter what you're going through, like, for instance, today I woke up super tired. I was like, man, I don't even want to go to church, but, you know, I, I, I make sure I get up. I make sure I get up because... Cause who knows? There could be someone in here that just needs to hear hear something. Give them a little confidence. Give them, give them, just give them that, just to get by a day. See, if I, I've been having trouble. I've been worrying about. I'm worrying about what's going to happen in the next three months. But I'm then I forget what's going to happen today. Like you got to focus on today and what, what's going to happen today. And just and just and just really, if you don't know what your gift is, if you don't know what, what God has you still here for.
pray to him and say, God, show me, show, show me, show me what, what, what I'm here for, what I'm supposed to do. I, I'm praising, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, but show me what I need to do. And, and God will bless you, tell him to fill you with the Holy Spirit. Because every single day I get text messages, I'm getting calls. Someone's going through something. Their friend just died. Their uncle just died. They're sick. And it seems like everybody's sick right now. Everybody's sick. But, and I always get this from Dirk. And at first I understand it. He goes, count it pure joy. Not just for the good. Come on, but cool. for the bad. That's right. When you're sick, when you're, when you're going through a battle, when you're just going like, man, no one's here to help me. No one wants to just count it. One day I remember Dirk was sick and he was going through it. And he, he just smiled and put his hands up and said, thank you, God. And I was like, oh, my God. And I was like, man, I have a bad day. I don't even know how to say thank you, man. I'm just, man, <laughs> give thanks because you know what? God will turn that around so, so, so quick. Amen. He'll bless you. And, he amen, just, amen. And, he'll, and, and he'll test your faith. He tests my faith every day. He'll test Mike's faith. Just, just give it to him. Don't just, when, when. When you get the promotion at work where things are going good, oh, thank you, God. But then that bad day hits you, and you're just like, you're just like, I'm done. God don't love me. He don't care about me. Just give thanks in the good and the bad. I had one script, and we'll let uh, Barbie come up. I wish I would have brought my kids. I didn't know to right now, Barbie. Now they would have loved it. Of course. We'll get it next time. She'll okay. Do it uh, again. Timothy, Timothy uh, 2, 115. Be strong. And, oh, there it goes. Of course. <laughs> You, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the things that you have heard from me among, among many witnesses commit these faithful men who will be able to teach others also. So basically, <coughs> you know, when, when, when me and Mike come up here, we, we read straight from the Bible. It ain't coming from us. We just decided to write an essay. But Jesus God's Christ. given us the gift, and he gave every one of you guys and it, and it goes, if you have kids, if you have family, teach them and, and teach them the love and the word of God. Because a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of my, I got, what, 14 brothers and sisters that are at home. And I was thinking, I go, man, maybe 10 o'clock is too early for them. Because, you know, they're probably up till 4 or 5 in the morning drinking, partying, whatever they were doing. <laughs> and I go, they're still in bed right now. And I was like, man, what do I got to do? I got to reach out to them. I got to talk to them. I just got to yeah. just let them know that they're loved. And they're Amen. Loved. I went to my mom's and I just let him know. I go, hey, God loves you guys. I go, he don't, he does not want to see you guys like this. He don't want to see you guys living from check to check, barely making it, barely paying to pay your bill. He don't want to see you like that. He wants to see see you successful. He wants to see you doing oh, better. But he wants to, see, he wants you to put him first. God, God, God knows if he's gonna bless you so, so <laughs> financially, so blessed, and all of a sudden, and, and Ben was speaking about this the other day. He goes, yeah. After about four to five years in our ministry, he goes, I get him in here. We get him turned. We get him going. He goes, then God blesses them financially. Then they disappear. Right. Like they, they're like they don't, they don't need God no more. Like, oh, I got what I was going to get. And they're just gone. That's don't, right. don't. God knows all of our hearts. He knows I'm going to do this to you. He goes, man, if I bless you like this and I do this for you, he goes, then you're going to go to hell. Yeah. He goes, God's not going to do that. He wants to see us make it to heaven. So whatever you're doing in life. Whatever, whatever the work you're doing, just put God first. And I'm speaking to myself. Yep. And, and just put God first, and, and, and watch Him, watch Him change you. Watch, That's right. watch Him change that, yeah. that that negative, and, and just you know, just have a He'll bless you. Oh, with um, That's right. Barbie, you, you got to. Uh, right, she's gonna God. do a puppet. What? Do you what? A what? You what? what? What a blessing. I'm you want to come up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm your like puppet. <laughs> what a blessing. Thank you too, Barbie. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name's Elizabeth. Hey, good course. And this is my brother, little boy, Teddy. Hello. <laughs> it is so wonderful to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. Hey, how long have we been waiting? Um, I guess like forever. <laughs> I forgot something. Oh, what's the matter? Um, do you remember yesterday when, um, well, I was remembering daddy lost? I remember. Um, I don't feel so good. Just 
I'm just kind of sad. Sorry, everybody. Oh, don't worry. Remember what they were talking about, Omar? No, well, I don't know if I was paying attention. I was crying. Oh, you don't remember? I'll worship the Almighty God. There is none like the Lord. Remember? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they can do that. Better make you feel better. It will? I don't know. Well, if you praise God, he'll make you feel better. That's what Mother Mark said. <laughs> well, you did say that, didn't you? Mm. Well, what do you think? You can try. You want to try? I don't know. And you said it shouldn't be embarrassing, huh? Mm. I guess I shouldn't be embarrassed about what Jesus did for me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I am. Who loves you? Okay, I'll tell you stop. <clears throat> I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I want to do. I give you praise, for you are my righteousness. Alas, I love the Lord. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none <coughs> like you so how praise the Lord <laughs> yay yeah I do hey. feel better <coughs> so what worship can do it can change your heart your mom and my heart too yeah you're right don't be sad don't you what I guess not but you know what I kind of do feel better Hey, what's for lunch? Mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, I love mac and cheese. Okay. Cool. Okay, we're ready to go now? I think we're done. You all still here? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, <this is cool. laughs> hey. Um, I guess it, it's church over. I want mac and cheese. <laughs> Give it a little cool. bit more time, okay? Okay. But all right. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. Me too, and I feel better. I hope you understand that worship makes you feel better because it sure made me feel better. But the thing is, my daddy's in heaven, and um, he left last year. But I still have mommy, and I still got my brother, and I got daddy, big daddy over there. Hi, Papa. <laughs> and, uh, but I can't wait for the kids next week. Maybe we'll do something better than me crying and whining and complaining all morning. I'm sorry. Anyway, okay. God bless you all, and thank you for inviting us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Barbara. Awesome. Wonderful. The kids are gonna love it. The kids are gonna love it. Um. Has has it has it, does anybody in here? Uh, that hasn't accepted our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior that wants to come up, I, I, I continue. I'm going to ask that every Sunday. And uh, whoever needs prayer, I mean, unless Debbie has something for us, but we're going to come up and we're going to pray for you. And I, I, uh, I know my aunts and my cousins needs prayer. So we're going to be praying for you guys. And uh, just remember, man, God hears all of our prayers. He, he hears it whether, whether you feel like he answered it today. Remember I was saying this a couple weeks ago. <coughs> I go, when you're praying, and if it's God's will, give them thanks. Tell Amen. Them thank you. After you're done praying, thank you for blessing me. Thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you for waking me up today. Because, you know, a lot of people didn't get woke up today. You know, they, 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 
They either went to heaven or hell, and we got to thank God because we're here because God's not done with us. Come on, Jesus. The reason why we're here, God's not done with us. There's so much work that needs to be done. So much work that needs to be done. So if you guys want to come up, and we're, we're going to be praying for you guys. Who needs prayer? I know probably a lot of people are just living a perfect life. And everything's <laughs> smooth. Doesn't need nothing. You know, no prayer. Everything's perfect. Come on up. Come on up. Jesus Christ. They came from the Hollywood Hills right now. <laughs> are, are you, uh, if you're perfect, say sit down. Jesus Christ. We got some money.